Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Nameless, the one thing you must recall. As always, I'm joined by Coco. Say hello. Hello everyone. And we are continuing on in Red's Route. The sunlight warmed up the room. Is it morning already? The weather must be good today, too. No one came to wake me up, but I got out of the bed. Well, you're supposed to be uh, getting up earlier now, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. I decided to take the bus to school from today. And Lance is going with me. I hope Lance doesn't nag me. Oh, no, actually, silence is more scary than his nagging. <laughs> Housewife Lance. <clears throat> Already a natural at nagging. Yes. <laughs> I headed to the living room, imagining going to school with Lance. I finished breakfast as usual and hurried out to the front door to catch Lance. Lance, do we really have to go out so early every morning? You have no right to refuse. You don't want to be kidnapped again, do you? Sounds like a threat, but okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was the mastermind all along. Oh my god. Wouldn't that dun, be a dun, dun. huge twist? Oh, that'd be messed up. I'd be so sad. <laughs> <laughs> right? Our best boy, yeah, dude. Boy. You're getting ice cream shoved in your mouth. Ah, Prince. If you want to <laughs> Prince, if you're going to be that code, why don't you leave her to me? Anything about that? This all happened because I left her to you. Do you not see how much I am suffering? Wait, why are you the one suffering? <laughs> <laughs> Lance was so right, I couldn't say anything and just put on my shoes. I guess... What? Why is he so right? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. My mind was so urgent, I couldn't put on my shoes properly. That phrasing is weird, too. Yeah. My mind was so urgent. What? <laughs> <laughs> Panic? I guess? Befuddled? Wait a moment. Red ran out from Grandpa's room and yelled. Huh? It wasn't time for Red to go out, but he seemed to be all ready. It's like, it's my route, isn't it? <laughs> I realized I have to be in this route more. <laughs> I realized why I couldn't protect the heroine. <laughs> Savage. Why don't you write that down in your diary later? We are busy, so we'll be going. When Lance was about to urge me, Red grabbed my arm. R Red? I was surprised at the unexpected touch and looked at him. Lance seems just as surprised and silently frowned. I couldn't protect you because I wasn't by your side. I should have been with you all the time to know if something happens to you. I told you I'd try my best, remember? I'm going to try, starting now, heroine. 
Red smiled at me. And he passed Lance to open the front door. Red dragged me out, still holding onto my wrist. What are you doing? This is the formulation of our OT3! Yes! That they start riding the bus together, and then the bus gets crowded, and Lance falls into <laughs> Red's arms. <laughs> and Jackie blushes because she likes seeing that. <laughs> I'm going with the heroine. She will be going with me. Sorry, it's my root. I mean, it's my role to protect her. <laughs> you your had your route. Right? That's my mission. Red said that and turned around to face me. And I've heard him say this often before, but it was a bit different today. He seemed... Filled with determination. <laughs> Suddenly we were in Undertale. As I hesitated, Red... <laughs> Red held on to me tighter and pulled at me. No? No, I just remember you screaming at the frog. Oh, I was like, why are you laughing? <laughs> Ah, uh, if you guys haven't seen my Undertale Let's Play, I won't say I did, like, the most amazing job at it, but there were some funny moments because when it comes to, like, RPGs and stuff, I'm not that good. <laughs> I just freak out whenever I'm, like, under attack. <laughs> and the frog was so, so determined to catch you, too. It was, right? Like, damn! It was like a pixel off your ass. <laughs> It's like, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the first step to becoming a hero, heroine. Did you just ignore... The first step is... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Running away from Lance. That's a hero. <laughs> uh, red! With those last words, Red ran off with my arm in his hand. <laughs> Wait, aren't you you running too fast? I would love to see that. <laughs> yeah. Lance actually running after them. <laughs> and like his eyes just start glowing and he just like, you know, like kind of does like the racer hunch over. <laughs> oh, <laughs> And then, <laughs> yeah, and then he has a slipper in hand, ready to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if Lance follows us? Heroine, bear with me for a while. B but, uh, Lance was just caring for me! At my words, Red turned around and looked at me. He was still running fast. And then he ran out into the street. Mm. And a car came by. <laughs> no! Isekai! <laughs> he gets transported <laughs> to our world. <laughs> yep. His red hair flopped through the wind. <laughs> you just have to hold on to me. If it gets too hard, I'll just carry you on my back, so don't worry. Oh, I might let go of you like this. Uh, for a moment, Red let go of me. While I was flustered, his palm touched mine. He locked his hand into mine and grinned. The heroine's role isn't to be happy with that jerk. I'll make you happy. I'll protect you. I want you to just smile by my side. Red held onto my hand tighter. 
I felt his warmth spread to my hand. I haven't realized my powers yet, but I'll soon become a man who can protect you for real. My heart started beating fast from what he said. I heard the wind swoosh as we hastened our steps. And amidst the sound, I could hear footsteps of two people running in the same rhythm. I could just tell by listening to the footsteps. Red is genuinely happy right now, at this moment. He looks much better than the Red from TV, the way he's smiling. I don't care if he doesn't become the hero. I don't care if he doesn't protect me. I like him just the way he is right now. So positive. This is when he looks best. My face heated up again, thinking that. Red turned around just in time. Oh, and... Huh? The chocolate cookie. Yeah. What about the chocolate cookie? What? It was really, really good. Red smiled while running. His smile was brighter than the sun. Oh. My heart is jumping again. Oh. So Lance ended up being the one to write in his diary. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> he's like, that bastard took her from me. <laughs> it could have been the three of us, but no. <laughs> oh, love it. Oh, okay. Was not expecting that. Uh, no, we're in 11. Oh, that's not a good title. <gasps> no, the bane of all fan fiction. <laughs> right? What? What's the concept for this doll? An action hero. Red, the warrior of justice who cherishes his teammates. And has the mission of protecting the heroine. He's a doll that's just and innocent, but sort of has a sense of ingen ingenious beauty. How hmm. about it? Weird word. Yeah, I'm not sure what that word means. Let me look. Clever, original, inventive. Huh. So it's spelled differently. Oh, so it is ingenious? Huh. Okay. I mean, that's... It, like, when I Google it, it's like, do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a typo. Huh. Uh, let me see. Uh... Oh, wait. No. No, 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 no. Of a person... Uh, of a person or acting innocent and unsuspecting. Oh. Okay. That kind of makes sense. Is how you pronounce it. Ingenuous. Ah, I see. Hmm. We'd have to consider how popular it will be to the general public. But it is a unique concept. <laughs> Then let's make a sample first. Just one. Yes, the target audience will be small anyways, so manufacturing it in mass numbers will be quite risky. But instead... We put that. 
What? That? Mm. Mm. Weird, right? Yeah. Yes. We've already put all the kinds of hearts we can in the previously released dolls. Since we're making just one this time, I thought it'd be good to put in something more... special. One doll with a special kind of heart. How does it sound? Hmm. <laughs> They're just dolls, what the hell? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's just creepy. Yeah, like, honestly, the way they talk, it's like, are you guys talking like you're handling actual human souls? <laughs> right? Like oh, actual Undertale? With the hearts? <laughs> and with that heart, we make the doll believe it will open its eyes to special powers one day. Maybe this is kind of almost like a horror <laughs> romance game. Yeah. Because there's some creepy stuff going on in here. There's a lot of that stuff I mentioned before, like the sort of uh, fridge horror. Mm -hmm. It's like they don't go in depth about it, but when you think about it a lot, it's like there is some creepy stuff happening. Yeah. It's a tricky request, so I cannot guarantee the success, but I will try. If I succeed... After almost snatching me away from Lance, Red didn't let go of me even when we arrived at the school gate. I was sweating like a pig and barely managed to let go of his hand after peering around. I totally misread that as something horrible. Oh? <laughs> what? Take out the R. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, which R? Then I'm like, oh. <laughs> typos we create are just the best. Yep. But even after that, Red insisted that he take me to the classroom. Do I have to remind him of what happened when he carried me on his back to the infirmary last time? But Red might get depressed if I do. In the end, I had let out a sigh and just let him. Uh, whatever. I don't know. Good. We got to the classroom. Heroine, my morning mission is done for the day. I'm glad you got to school safe today. Red looked proud as if he just made a great accomplishment. It was then. <laughs> <laughs> How many freaking times? Oh my god. Ugh. Game. Why? People around me started to stir. It was because Red suddenly appeared in the freshman hallway. Everyone started staring at me in Red. Yeah, he's drawing too much attention. Mm -hmm. uh, who did one and two? 
I think you do one and three and then I do two, right? Is that a red? And what's he doing here? He must have walked her to the classroom. Three, come on, yes. Oh my god, really? He's in our class. I was red. <laughs> Never fails. More people were gathering around us. I was sweating. Like a pig. Again. <laughs> and peeing everywhere. <laughs> 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 oh, gosh. I desperately wanted to get out of this situation. I was about to automatically take a couple steps back. Oh my. Who is this? I heard a loud and high voice among the whispers. We all turned around and saw Soy standing in front of the classroom door. I thought I saw a halo of light around her the way she stood there with her hands on her waist. Ah, yes, she is quite heavenly. <laughs> Soy! Soy came towards Red and me and started talking. Red, what are you doing? No, actually, what do you want with her? Soy asked while smiling. But her smile was scary for some reason. Oh, jealousy. Mm -hmm. She's like, she's mine. <laughs> Red answered proudly at Soy's question. Oh, I have to guard her. I'll be seeing her to the classroom every morning from now on. Why? Oh, something bad did happen to her, so I got worried. So he squinted. It was as if she's asking him if he knows why that something bad happened. But Red never caught that. Instead, he looked like he just remembered something and clapped his hands. Oh, and she'll be playing the heroine in the play I'm in. So I have to take care of her. So his eyes sparkled at what he said. Finally, Red said something she could use. So yelled out loud so everyone can hear. <laughs> She's so smart. Yep. <laughs> so, you're saying this is part of the play rehearsal, right? So you guys have no choice. But to go together, right? What? Play rehearsal? I never... Red tried to say something back, but Soy was faster. Uh-oh. <laughs> Might backfire. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you just say it's for the play? Then you guys are obviously just rehearsing. Or is it something else? It's not because you like her or something like that, right? What? That's... Red blushed at Soy's straightforward question. I couldn't even tell his cheeks apart from his hair. I was just as flustered when Soy organized the whole fuss. And 
And now you all heard, right? This is all for the play. It's definitely not because he likes her. Of course not. Red would never like a girl like her. <sighs> I was surprised. <laughs> I guess we'll be able to see Red often thanks to her. <laughs> Good thing I brought the clever form today. Oh my god, no. <laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> Even faster than when uh, you were imagining Lance behind you. <laughs> 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 That's true. Thankfully, everyone seemed to go along with Soy's story. Red was still unable to say anything with his face blushed. <laughs> with his face blushed. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> <sighs> Non-native English speakers. I love the typos you make sometimes. <laughs> it's really cute. So he saw red like that and grinned. Anyways, good job on the rehearsal. Then I'll take her away now. Yes, take her away. <laughs> uh, sorry? Uh, huh? Soy quickly took me into the classroom. Red was still standing outside. He seemed a bit weird, but thanks to Soy, we avoided any trouble. <sighs> what the hell is Red thinking? I, I know. It hasn't been that long since that happened to you, and he's already making you stand out. <sighs> really. As soon as we got to our seats, we let out a sigh. Soy especially looked really worried. The smile she made in front of everyone must have been fake. Well, I guess she has no choice but to be worried since she saw me in danger herself. I felt sorry for making her worry, but on the other hand, I felt so thankful. I said in a feeble voice, Sorry for making you worry. And thanks for taking care of that just now. <laughs> I'll make you pay for it, so don't worry. Soy glimpsed at me. And she turned back to her usual bright self. Thanks to that, I felt much better. Alright. Well, I think that's a good place to leave this episode at. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Toodaloo!